Imagine over a million people converging on Chicago to take part in a giant worship service at Soldier Field. In June of 1926, it happened during the International Eucharistic Congress when Catholics from around the world celebrated Mass together. One of Chicago's nicknames is City of Catholics because of the Catholic immigrants who made their mark on the cityscape with many church steeples and schools. Chicago in the 1920s was famous for its gangsters, but 1926 made it famous for Catholics. If there was ever a time when Chicago earned that nickname, City of Catholics, it was during the Eucharistic Congress. The Congress represented the 28th time in world history that the sacred event was held. Chicago was selected as the first American city to host it. For a few days, Soldier Field was transformed into a kind of outdoor church. Catholics also celebrated at Holy Name Cathedral and the Colosseum, and then for the final day made a pilgrimage some 40 miles north to Mundelein Seminary in the pouring rain even. Typical Chicago weather. This wasn't just a Catholic effort. You can imagine the work that goes into planning such an event. Everything had to be perfect, and Chicago citizens were ready. Think of the Eucharistic Congress as the Catholic Olympics, or a Catholic World's Fair. It caused a great deal of excitement in the city, and represented an international honor. Out of the event came some uniquely Chicago statistics. Chicago made history by setting a record during the Congress for the largest public transportation effort in the country. A choir of 60,000 children sang the Mass of the Angels at Soldier Field during the event. One newspaper report even claimed that Catholics consumed over 10,000 hot dogs. The world was impressed with Chicago's tremendous planning. The man who secured Chicago as the site for the celebration was George Cardinal Mundelein. Mundelein. George Mundelein came from New York also and was the first to become a cardinal of the church. Uh, he created the institutions that define the archbishop, the archdiocese today, Catholic charities, Catholic cemeteries, the Catholic seminary system, uh, the new way of financing parishes. Uh, he was a, a great administrator and a man with a sense of purpose and of uh, drama. He created moments that I think brought the Catholic community together. Mundelein spared no expense to welcome Catholics to the city at its finest, with flowers, song, parades, and pageantry. In 1926, Cardinal Mundelein garnered attention and respect for Chicago through the celebrations of one of its largest religious communities. He not only made American Catholics proud of their religion, he made Chicagoans proud of their modern city.